In this video, we solve the third numerical of gas turbine power plant. First, we understand the problem statement. A gas turbine power plant operates between temperature 15 degree centigrade and 1100 degree centigrade. Means T1 and T3 is given, means lowest temperature and highest temperature is given. T1 is the lowest temperature and the T3 is the highest temperature. Calculate the following first the optimum pressure ratio for the cycle for maximum power output means we need to calculate the pressure ratio RP or we can say P2 upon P1. Second, we need to calculate compressor work WC, turbine work WT, soft work means the network and the work ratio WR. And the last, we need to calculate the plant efficiency means we need to calculate the thermal efficiency. And here we need to consider few parameters that the CP for air is equal to 1.005 kilojoule per kg Kelvin and the gamma is equal to 1.4. Now, we mentioned what the data is given. First temperature that is a T1 is given that is a 15 degree centigrade we need to convert in a Kelvin so 15 plus 273 the answer is 288 Kelvin. Next parameter T3 is given that is 1100 degree centigrade so 1100 plus 273 so we get the answer in the Kelvin 1373 Kelvin. CP of a air is given 1.005 gamma is given 1.4 and we need to calculate rp means the pressure ratio compressor work wc turbine work network means soft work this is the work ratio and this is the plant efficiency and we also need to draw the ts diagrams in examination when this numerical is asked so this is the ts diagram and in this graph we indicate this temperature t1 and this is the temperature t3 now how to find out these all the parameters for find out the pressure ratio rp we need to use this equation that is a t3 upon t1 raised to gamma divided by 2 gamma minus 1 so here t1 and t3 both are given value of the gamma is also given that is a 1.4 okay so we are able to find out this pressure ratio now how to find out compressor work for the compressor work we need to use this equation specific hit cp in bracket t2 minus t1 now here t2 is not given okay so we need to calculate this T2 by using this equation T2 upon T1 is equal to P2 upon P1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay. Same way we need to find out turbine work that is a Cp T3 minus T4. So here T4 is not given. So first we need to find out this T4. Then work ratio that is a network divided by turbine work. Network means turbine work minus compressor work. And final, that is a plant efficiency or a thermal efficiency, that is a network divided by QS. So, first we need to calculate this QS, okay, means heat supply during this combustion. So, heat supply during the combustion, it is the process 2 to 3, okay. So, here we need to do that is a Cp T3 minus T2. So, first we find out this pressure ratio, okay. So, equation is Rp is equal to T3 divided by T1 raised to gamma divided by 2 gamma minus 1 value of t3 it is a 1373 kelvin value of t1 288 kelvin value of gamma is 1.4 so here we putting this value of gamma in this power now we calculate in a calculator and we get this answer that is a compression ratio or a pressure ratio is equal to 15.38 means p2 upon p1 is equal to 15.38 now we find out these other parameters. Okay, so here I written this uh, compression ratio because it is required to find out these other parameters. So first we find out this compressor work. Okay, for the compressor work we require this T2 temperature. So first we find out this T2 by using this equation. Equation is T2 upon T1 is equal to Rp means P2 upon P1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay, so we putting this value of Rp that is 15.38 value of gamma 1.4 okay so we putting here then we simplified and we supply this t1 on the right side and the value of the t1 is 288 okay we calculate and we get this answer of the t2 
T2 is equal to 628.81 Kelvin. So now we are able to find out this compressor work that is a WC. WC is equal to Cp T2 minus T1. Okay, so now we are putting this value of Cp that is given 1.005. Value of T2 628.81 minus T1. Value of the T1 is given that is a 288. Okay, now we calculate in the calculator we get this answer that is a 342.52 kilojoule per kg now we find out this turbine work before finding out the turbine work we need to find out this t4 so by using this equation we find out this t4 equation is t3 upon t4 is equal to pressure ratio raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma now we are putting this value of the RP that is 15.38, value of gamma 1.4. Okay. And we supplied this RP raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma on the left side and this T4 is supplied on the right side. Okay. So we get this equation means T3 divided by this term. Okay. Then we get this equation of the T4. Now we calculate then we get this answer of this T4 that is a 628.84. Kelvin. Now we are able to find out turbine work. So turbine work is Cp in bracket T3 minus T4. Now we are putting the value of Cp 1.005. Value of T3 that is given 1373 Kelvin. Value of T4 628.84 Kelvin. Okay, So we are able to find out this turbine work that is 747.88 kilojoule per kilogram. Now next we find out that network or a shaft work that is a turbine work minus compressor work okay so now we have both this value turbine work and here we have the compressor work okay so we subtract it so turbine work is 747.88 minus compressor work that is a 342.52 so we get this network or a shaft work and answer of the shaft work is the 405.36 kilojoule per kilograms now we are able to find out the work ratio okay so before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching more video related to power plant engineering and the other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now we find out this work ratio so equation of the work ratio is the network divided by turbine works okay so we have the value of network here you see i mentioned what a parameter we find out so turbine work is the 405.36 and the turbine work is 747.88 kilojoule per kilograms okay so we divide it and we get this answer that is a work ratio is 0 0.54 and it have no units because it is the ratio of the two work so here you see this work uh, unit of the network and the turbine work are same so these units are cancelled okay by mistake here it is a kilojoule into kilogram is written but it is kilojoule divided by kilogram is there now the last one is the plant efficiency but before finding the plant efficiency we need to find out the heat supply so heat supply is denoted as the qs and the equation is cp in bracket t3 minus t2 so value of cp 1.005 value of t3 1373 Kelvin value of T2 628.81. So we get the answer of the QS that is a 747.91 kilojoule per kilogram. Now we find out the plant efficiency or a thermal efficiency. So equation of a plant efficiency is the network divided by QS. So value of network is 405.36. Value of QS is 700. 47.91 okay so we get these equations we calculate and we get this answer that is the plant efficiency is equal to 0 0.542 and we multiply this answer with the 100 then we get the efficiency in the percentage so thermal efficiency is 54.2 percentage so here we are find out the all the parameters so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends